project management from George Washington University uh, from Washington, U USA. Dr. Haj Ali, the floor is yours. We can't hear you, doctor. I'm, I'm, I'm muted, so uh, good day to all. Samain Nimne? Yeah, everything is Yes. Okay, excellent, excellent. Um, I would say good day to all. But uh, Fadlo, can mix English, Arabic, or just English? I'm really interested in the idea and we're going to do a little interactivity more than just the as a you can mix them. Okay, we'll just make them So if you prefer, no. Problem. Okay, no worries, no worries, no worries. Okay, I'm going to start presenting. So just give me a couple of seconds. Hello, صديقكم هادي حط العنوان from bulb. أنا رحت شوي أبعد. So I went a little bit further to BC from the Greeks. Uh, and computation has its roots uh, deep in the history. Um, I'll try to uh, uh, give you like a, a small journey over the history. I'm that I missed to put so I try to, to give you a fast sweeping uh, walk through the history. Uh, well, this is a recent uh, discovery, I mean, the uh, 90s, I think. Uh, uh, it's, a, it's a device, a Greek dated to the Greeks uh, before Christ, and it's a hand powered planetarium. Um, it's an apparatus, and a of عادة بيطلعوا فيها مواقع الأجرام السماوية the motions and positions of heavenly bodies or solar system you know the the planets and what we call them stars شوي beyond the solar system alright so basically most of these devices well, what we, analog computers, they call them, or uh, whatever they call them later on, uh, they appeared uh, to early, early enough, and they were used in navigation and, uh, and um, you know, creating a calendar, some sort of a calendar. I think it was used for the Olympiad, this, this device. A short video, I'm not sure if you will uh, see it. I'm going to just... Make it fast. This is how the actual uh, replication of the uh, original device looked like. Okay. And this is the only part that uh, lived. Okay, it's hand powered, so they used to dial it by hand. Uh, there are other devices that uh, we're going to see later on that uh, uh, was uh, that used other other means to power them. Well, that's another another device uh, uh, later on. Uh, I skipped a couple of uh, uh, centuries. Sini uh, can handle nice. Uh, devices mainly for Al-Arab Timshi and Al gears of Hek. So they had a couple of instruments come in. Hai Arabiya Arabi Islami in the culture to Aguna Ismail Jazari. Uh hey they say uh it has like a small uh, bird that moves and there are um, these humanoids they also interact with the with the movement to give um, you know timing uh, so this is a small uh, movie i'm not sure if you've seen that movie i'm just have you seen that short movie before no 
Okay, uh, it's nice. I, I'll, I'll leave this. Uh, probably I'll share it with uh, with Hadi and then share it with you. Um, it talks about many of the uh, inventions of uh, the Arabs and Muslims in history. So this is how it works. Okay. Uh, well, you can watch the video online, or you can you can check it uh, when I share the uh, the presentation. Well, uh, these are mechanical devices, and mechanical devices, uh, uh, you know, uh, evolved over time and got some theory behind them. And uh, one one important uh, device uh, was implement implemented by Pascal, Blaise Pascal, the famous. Uh, uh, scientist and philosopher. Uh, it's a calculator. It's a mechanical calculator. So it does all the calculation mechanically. So it has gears in it, and um, uh, you can dial in numbers and give you some sort of calculation, arithmetic multiplication, division, etc. Okay. Um, also, uh, there was a famous mathematician called Ada, and there was a programming language named after her. Uh, that uh, put some uh, early um, theory behind the calculation of what later on Charles Babbage uh, made as a mechanical device called the difference engine. Okay, it's a, it's a mechanical uh, calculator. Well, you dial in some numbers and functions and then you crank it to get the number. Uh, believe it or not, so it calculates polynomials and other other uh, stuff so it can tabulate a lot of numbers for you um these uh, things are uh, you know uh, appeared in movies also i don't know if you've seen hugo yeah yeah for uh, yeah. okay okay so um do you remember that that device the robot that's uh, yes. kind of uh, it's kind of similar. Well, the, the mechanical parts really generates something built on an input given to it, which are, in this case, the key. Uh, in the previous uh, examples, are uh, dials where you can dial some gears and then you crank it to get get the numbers. Right. So this is the uh, this is an example of. Well, I'm not sure this is, this is not real, but you know, this is an example of things that, uh, or similar things have been done before also as games or things like that. Okay. Trivia question. Do you know the inspector or the uh, policeman? In this movie? Uh, yes, can I do she? Yes. She mechanical. Other movies? Have you ever seen other movies for him? No. Nope. Okay. Well, that old guy, Mirip Shwaibel, Shwai, the documentary. Ben Kings. Okay. Okay. Well, the god is Borat. All right. Well, I don't know if you watched the movie. Anyway, <laughs> okay. Anyways, uh, in 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 the uh, late eighteen uh, hundred, uh, uh, there was also cash register made of a mechanical device. This is how the early ones looked like. I paid in a store that used this one, so I'm that old. Well, I was a kid, and the guy didn't want to uh, buy a new one. So uh, this is this is a cash register where you dial in the numbers, and then you crank it. It gives you the total. All right. So these are examples of mechanical computers. 
uh, that have been used and also uh, produced massively. I and mean, the difference engines uh, and Pascal calculator, probably they were not massively produced, but uh, cash registers were massively produced and there were a lot of um, uh, companies like IBM who used to be in that business. So they started out in the business model. And IBM published the typewriters will uh, like this year. So it's not just computers. All right. So things evolved over the time. And uh, then uh, the, 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 uh, the modern computers were based on Boolean algebra. And you have learned Boolean algebra, right? Yeah, I can be familiar with it. Okay. So Boolean algebra. Uh, is based on on uh, you know the work of a mathematician uh, called George Boole, all right, and really it, it, it works in the binary system where you have either zero or one, and zero and one or true or false. You can describe it in so many ways and implement it in so many ways. The basic implementation of a zero or one is a switch which is turned on or turned off, closed or open, all right, and then. You can build a host of functions using these switches. So these are for circuits that describes uh, or, and, 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 and not uh, as switches. So can we from home, Haj? All right. So these are the basic uh, ideas of how things started. So uh, Boolean algebra, they based all the uh, design on them and you know you've taken a course at least in, in uh, digital design so the, the, the uh, digital design that you've ever seen and um, in your course can be implemented with electronics you can implement it with switches okay so you can implement it using switches so for example in this case it's an or so either a or b is connected the lamp will turn on right here, if you turn on the switch, it short circuits the current flowing into the bulb, and the bulb turns off. So this is a not. So if the, the, the switch is connected or closed, the bulb will turns off. Otherwise, it turns on. The AND gate, if you have two switches in series, so you need both switches to be on for the lamp to turn on. And then this is an AND. You need both switches, uh, one, I'm sorry, one of the uh, switches to be off in order for the lamp to be on. So only when both switches are on, the lamp turns off. So this is, this is a really uh, where things started. And in order to control these switches, they used relays. Well, what's a relay? I think I have a picture of the relay here somewhere. Okay, that's a relay. All right? I'm not sure if you've seen a relay before. Work with a relay. You should. Yes, my buddy, but Muslim Karabakh. I build Muslim Karabakh. Well, the contact level bit is a, is a kind of relay. Okay, so I don't want to uh, spoil things for you. All right, so basically, in, in the theories, uh, uh, Conrad Zeus started building computers using relays and he put his uh, instructions on uh, discarded film negatives. Negatives, my father could say negative for film, film, the Adim, the Kansa, or other. There's a plastic, actually, Mirne, but so استعمال هون إذا بلاحظين هيدا هيدا example of of a film and this is the relay computer uh, I think it's called Z3. Uh, so he built what Babbage had built using uh, uh, gears, what has been built mechanically. Uh, he built it using using uh, uh, relays. Right, 
and uh, like yeah, yeah, the input. So the, this is this the 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 as if it's the computer, and this is the input or the program. Uh, the program is uh, punched of khote. محلات الخوتي بتعني or the pattern in the in the uh, in the punching will means uh, different things. Like if can you show the whole khote? But if 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 كل 1 سنتيمتر بيعتبروا تنقول مجموعة dots I'm not sure uh, what was it but this is what it looks like um, so basically the patterns فعليا هو في مثل connections مطرح ما في فخط الحديد بيضرب بعضهم أو الحاسات بيضرب بعضهم so you have a current so basically you either have the switches on and off but these switches are, can change depending on the pattern واضحة so how how these punch cards work? Yes, doctor. All right. And later on, things uh, evolved. Uh, punch card became input to modern, well, modern لألون مش لأن modern computers at that at that time. صار في كراتين فاللي بده يكتب برنامج بيقعد على مكنه بفخت الكراتين وبيحملهم بروح على على الكمبيوتر بيعمل لهم رن البروجرام تاعه واذا طلع عنده شيء ايرور بده يرجع يفخت من جديد الكراتين وات ا ويست رايت سو بيزكلي بانش كاردز بيكيم كايند اوف انبوت وير يو رايت ا بروجرام اون سو ذس از ا كود فور ا بروجرام اول رايت اول بانش كاردز وير يوز ايفن بيفور ذات مع لومز the jacquard machine, Nawl uh, in Arabic. This is Bisna Sajjad or Bisna Tob Mash, on a pattern Mayan. And the pattern is fed through these punched cards that runs, uh, well, could be manually uh, powered or, uh, you know, engine powered, or either can manual. And this was featured in a movie. I think I spoiled it for you. Zekrino? The same movie? Is it the same movie? I'm not going to say it. No, no, it's not. Wanted movie. I wanted. Wanted. Okay, so if you remember, well, I don't know if you have seen that movie. Uh, because of, I think they were trained assassins will... will uh, Loom was giving them the next operation that they needed to do, something like that. So anyways, uh, well, uh, so this is a mechanical, I don't know, I want to call it computer, but it computes one thing, which is the sheet that, that it makes based on an input. Uh, all right, uh, now, um, since relays were used in, in, uh, in computers, well, when that lady, she deceased, she's deceased now, I think she died in 1992, uh, she was a computer scientist. While um, she was doing some research um, on Mark II at Harvard, um, she was having a problem with the, with the program. It was given wrong stuff. So one of her assistants or associates went into the uh, computer room to find out what, what was the error, and was there a muff? بتشبه الفراشة حشرة بتشبه الفراشة. على الآن بالريلاي بانل ريلاي 70 بانل. So إذا عنا الريلاي وقعد في بين الكوندكترز ما حيعمل كوندكشن رايت؟ يس يا أكيد 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 was coined. So when we say debugging and you have a bug in the software, this is the history of it. All right? Um, well, I just wanted to share with you Harry Potter's relay computer. It's not the Harry Potter movie. It's in a professor at some university. So that guy built uh, recently and comes in a fully functional uh, relay computer and he put it in his bedroom i'm not sure how his wife kept him in the house so this is in the bedroom okay this is like the main memory made of 
relays, connected, uh, you know, functions. This is the relay he used. Okay, and this is the architecture of how, you know, what it does, does like four registers, an ALU, it's an 8-bit. It has a Z carry and probably a sign, but these are the flags for those who uh, have taken microcontroller or uh, microprocessor. All right, um, just some more stuff about it. So this is the ALU made all just switches, relays, and bulbs. Okay. In the bedroom. Okay. All right. So, um, more pictures. It's a huge. It's a very silly computer. It doesn't do much. But it's a huge because it's using the basic elements. Relays. All right. Well, in the, the development of, of computing really peaked out in, during the Second World War. I'm not sure if you've uh, uh, heard about the Enigma machine. Uh, the, the machine that was uh, used by the Nazis. Yes. Uh, encryption. The German used it for encryption to send, uh, to send letters. And... Uh, this is the machine. It's a fairly small machine. It's portable, and they used to have replicas around the, you know, uh, their, their uh, around the world for their troops, and connected to the central command. Anyways, in in the in the in that era, uh, the Brit the Brits were working on deciphering the messages sent by Enigma, and thus. Uh, they hired and they built a, uh, a lab. They had uh, Alan Turing, who was a, uh, uh, the father of uh, modern computer science. And he built this, this machine that deciphers the messages sent by Enigma. It's a huge computer, which has mechanic, electromechanical uh, devices in it. All right, so these are World War II uh, era computers uh, used for the purpose of uh, serving the war. Well, in fact, in, in that era, uh, there was a lot of uh, computers built in uh, for that purpose. In the computers, I'm the computers, ciphering and deciphering, or cryptanalysis, they call it. Tahlil al-Shifa. All right. And uh, that story was, was featured in the movie, The Imitation Game, also. I think it was in 2014. All right. Uh, by the way, the work of, of Alan Turing was uh, very important that established the modern, uh, modern uh, science behind uh, what we call computer science now. Okay, uh, it's all mathematical modeling of, of how computation is done. And he has a basic idea of what we call it, a Turing machine, where you have a, a tape that has symbols on it and a head that can move back and forth, or the tape can move back and forth. And you can read and write to that tape. And any computation that you can think of uh, and that can be computed can be done using this machine. Right, and there's a huge theory about it. Uh, there is a course usually offered in computer science about, uh, about this. It's called the uh, theory of computation. Sometimes they call it uh, automata. All right. Um, well, in that uh, same period, uh, the mathematician Van Neumann um, proposed uh, you know, the, the, the basic architecture of modern computers. And this is what we still have to date, where he said, you know, in his report, 
um, for, a, for a machine called ADVAC. You need a center processing unit, which has control and ALU, so a control unit, a part of it, and an ALU. You need input and output, and you need some memory. If you have all these coordinated together, you have a computer. Okay, so this is the recipe of a CPU or a computer in general. All right, now, um, in, but since things are based on, on Boolean, Boolean um, algebra and digital design, uh, most of these uh, components are, well, are um, combinatorial uh, co uh, systems. Do you know what's combinatorial? There are two, two major systems, uh, two major uh, design uh, or system, digital systems. The combinatorial and the other one is sequential, right? Now, in the sequential, you have the million more machines. But, you know, you have the combinatorial and the sequential. The difference between them is that combinatorial gives you output depending on the input bus. In the sequential, uh, the output depends on the input and the state. State and shu can abel shuai. So it has a memory element into it. So basically, the control unit is one of the things that works as a sequential uh, or built as a sequential device. Arithmetic and logic unit is usual. It's always uh, a, a, a combinatorial. Then if you add, simply another gives you input, it gives you an input, it gives you an output right away. The memory unit, since it has flip-flops, it has memory, so it's, it's a kind of sequential, even though the sequence of events is not complicated as, as the control unit. All right? So this is basically the modern design, level, high level design of a computer. Okay, and uh, things started rolling up with the introduction of, well, let me go back to the screen. Um, see, these, these elements uh, evolved over time, the switch. One, two, three, these are all switches, control switch. She only control switch, well, the relay, the uh, ilha coil, well, um, I think I have a, um, I have a so the relay works like that. It has a coil. So basically, uh, uh, the, this is a switch. This is the switch here between the contacts, okay? And this is the control of the switch. So this whole thing is called the control switch. This is how a relay works. Well, this is how the precursor of, I'm sorry, the, the uh, successor of, of relay works, which is called the vacuum tube, it has, um, uh, well, first, it's in a sealed, vacuum-sealed uh, glass. It has a heater and two, uh, two uh, conductors. One is designated as anode, and the other one is designated as cathode. And when you heat up uh, the environment inside, and take out the uh, sound. So when heat is applied, uh, the heat will allow electrons to flow in the vacuum from the cathode, uh, from the, well, the electrons flow off, goes from the anode to the cathode, the current flows uh, in the uh, different way. So anyways, so this is, this is how uh, things work. So the heater is the control, and then there is a switch, there's a current. So it's a controlled switch again. Same thing for transistors. I think you have studied this. So I'm going to close and reopen. What happens with the... Uh... Okay, where are we now? We're at... Okay. So, 
These are control switches. This one, this one, and this one. If you remember uh, your electronics course, the transistor, the base, or a BGT, for example, is the, um, the control. And there is a switch that works between the collector and the emitter. Same thing for FAT. The uh, gate is the control of the switch. And then there is a current that flows between, uh, you know, the brain and the emitter. And in, uh, oh, please. All right. So basically, all the design was uh, improved by introducing more and more efficient elements, oh. efficient in size and power. Yes. Okay, no worries. All right. So, um, all Lambat, my wife is a Hadam Ahlo, and I can have a fusion Lambat. Um, can I mean, and Dauro, Montreal, Yahmal heaters, the Hatay Belish still. All right. So, basically, uh, Klami Hammy Sayara, the fusion, but the Hammy. Uh, so, uh, with things uh, evolving uh, with, with, the, with the integrated circuit where transistors can be integrated together in one chip. This gave, uh, opened the window to, to a lot of, of uh, development. And the development started with smaller and smaller computers. So this is an Apple II computer that is built on electronics, where you connect it to a TV like monitor, it's a TV and it looks like a typewriter and um, its storage is a radio cassette recorder believe it or not uh, it's an 8-bit uh, you know it's for home use uh, some people use it for small businesses as well and then well uh, this is another example this is um, i wanted to share this is was my computer, the model. Um, I used the tape to uh, record my uh, programs and load my programs into it. Uh, this is a whole computer. It's not just a keypad. It's a whole computer. And it has a power. It has phone jacks for the, uh, for the uh, tape. And it has a, a TV out. Can uh, television, and you have to tune al VHF channel two or channel three, I think, to uh, to receive the signal. And um, it's fairly simple design. Uh, this is the microprocessor. It's a Z80 eight-bit microprocessor. This is the EEPROM containing the operating system. So it's a it's a memory that you cannot erase through computation and you have to remove it and erase things from it. So this has an operating system. Well, it doesn't have an operating system. It just boots on into a language called BASIC and then you can start typing your program. All right, and these are the RAM, all my whole RAM. Uh, some gates, I think, to control. Uh, this one, the input-output controller, I know it's not a microcontroller, so you need an external chip to manage the input output. And this one is a um, uh, linear uh, IC that modulates the, or generates the uh, video signal and give it to the modulator here. Uh, signal that video part of the And these connectors are for the, uh, for the keyboard. Very simple, fairly simple. Wuhi machine expansion, if you want to, Add a joystick or whatever can listen to straight out or cable joystick. Very simple device. And then the IBM introduced, uh, well, IBM can use uh, with typewriters, but then struggle with uh, uh, cash registers, struggle with uh, the computer, uh, the query, the mainframes. Uh, then they started introducing the personal computer. I the laptop laptop computer right? So this is the uh, computer that has the CPU and all the other components. This is just a keyboard. So keyboard, keyboard. 
and this is a monitor. Uh, the storage improved, so became uh, more uh, dense and um, better than a tape, where a tape is a marks the shifting to cassette, Shrita, Magnata, but so you're reading sequentially from it. So they invented a, a floppy disk. So let me go to the storage. They uh, 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 invented what is called a floppy disk. Um, I use these two. Okay. Inside them, there is a uh, piece of plastic magnetized and in a disk form. Um, so drive. this is a floppy drive here. This is for, I think, that this is the floppy drive for those, the, all the bigger ones. So anyways, uh, this floppy, uh, it rotates so you can read uh, around the, a, a, uh, a track. Oh, and the head moves back and forth so you can read like randomly, not sequentially. So it's hard to read the tape until it Alright, the density, this one was 1.2 mega, the small one. This was 1.44 mega. And I'm not sure about this one, I've never used it. Uh, so I can use it. I can use it in the book. If we got something to use it, it's cooked. So we used to, we used to crunch a lot of, it, of these. These two. Okay, I think uh, more solid than a plastic number. And um, the nice thing about it, it has a notch here with a plastic uh, that moves. read only So if you push it, I read only can put the head on notch So Contacts, um, I'm not sure if it was an infrared or a contact. Anyways, um, these, uh, <coughs> the uh, main uh, program, uh, uh, like a small operating system, uh, personal computer, sorry, it's mobile. Uh, was saved on an EEPROM. Uh, command this evolved from a, a memory that you program once. Well, you program once outside. And you, when you build a computer, you cannot reprogram it. You have to take it out and program it. Uh, to one that can be reprogrammed and erased via ultraviolet. So, under window, as a run ultraviolet on the silicon, on the lens. طبعا مش مكشوف إلا الهواء في lens. إذا حطينا بالألترا فايولت لمدة معينة بتمحي البرنامج إذا طولنا عليها بتحترق. So anyways, once program it, you put a uh, sticker there that does not allow light in. بعدين طورت صار E squared prom where you can erase it through electricity rather than ultraviolet. Then nowadays, they use a flash memory. Okay? Because flash memory holds, it's non-volatile, it holds the information in it. All right? Uh, the floppy evolved to become a hard drive. Never take out the hard drive and open it because you you kill it. Um, I think I have, I failed to get it for you, but uh, relative size human uh, So, بس لا لكم ليش بتخرب؟ Right, this is the gap usually between the disk 
and the head. Very small. This is the human hair. So any piece of dust or anything, anything unwanted that goes inside the hard drive will make it unusable, right? Well, this is the hard drive. This is the head with the motor that allows it to move. Uh, is Ankun hard disk Kharban Haushaftan very strong magnet? You can use them if you like. That uh, are used for the motor of the uh, of the of the head. So basically, you have disks, multiple disks stacked over each other, and you have multiple heads that goes inside them. Uh, the disks rotate, and the arm can move left and right. Thus, can go from one cylinder to the other, and then you can read uh, from any place on these disks. And it's called hard disk because the disk itself is hard. In the floppy, the disk here is very soft, and it's large plastic. On it's uh, it's made of uh, hard material, right? Now the RAM uh, uh, in the early days they used to use what we call magnetic core memory. They used on المقطع السوداء اللي هون عبارة عن beads مثل خرز مصنوعين من ferrite material مواد ممغناطة بفوتوا فيها شرائط نحاس. They loop them together, so you have uh, address, row, column, I'm sorry, row, column, address, and you have a bit that you can read out the, the, the content. So each bead is like one bit. So this is how the old RAM used to be. Now it's all electronics. And there are so many technologies with, uh, with, the, uh, with building RAM. All right. Uh, well, a bit of history. Uh, since IBM and many of the computer companies, they worked in typewriters before, and they needed to work with printers that acted like a typewriter in the uh, mechanized typewriters. Shafin uh, and the typewriter, right? Yes. Yeah, I keep. Okay. Uh, all printers were using, يعني أخذوا typewriter ركبوله موتور وقدروا control it بدل بدل keyboard so it became a printer. So anyway, uh, this is called the carriage. يعني اللي تحمل الورقة. All right. So once you get to the end of the of the line, you need to return the carriage to the beginning, right? So once you type type type, you have to press the handle. That returns the carriage. Now, one thing happened as well. If you notice, when they pressed that handle, not only the carriage returned, but also a new line is created. So the paper is shifted up, and thus the two characters in that you use the slash and slash r. This is the history behind it. You know the carriage return line feed characters slash and slash r. The green one. Mm -hmm. All right. So they came from here. Now, modern computers, have, as we said, well, microcontrollers. This is uh, well, PIC 18. I just showed it because I drawn this fancy uh, figure. Well, Metal Ma von Neumann uh, had, uh, you know, uh, Put as a design. Still, it's it's in use. You have a control unit, which is a sequential machine that basically have five, four, depend on the stages that uh, the uh, microprocessor uses, uh, states. So it goes from one state, fetch, decode, read the operands, process them or execute them, and write the result, and keep doing the same thing again and again. So basically, this is a sequential part of the, of the, um, of the CPU. You have an ALU that does you know, arithmetic and logical operations, which includes additions, subtractions, not and or XOR, etc., but doesn't include division or multiplication. All right. And then you have a RAM and 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 the uh, program memory. Now in, in your computer, um, these might be the caches, and you have a RAM that contains both the data and the program, and you have a hard drive that contains the original uh, programs. All right. So this is a microcontroller. Uh, 
Now, so you start by writing algorithm nowadays for a computer. Well, I will can uh, the whole design. You have to design the computer to do that operation. Alala. So it's a general purpose computer where you write your own algorithm. Okay. And then you translate the algorithm. By the way, the algorithm comes from the word khawarizmi. Uh, we'll put some some uh, steps in solving in solving some mathematical equations. So basically what you do is you write uh, your logical steps in solving the, the problem. And then you can translate them to any higher level languages. So there are languages that were created to help um, help you uh, implement your idea or algorithm. And then you compile it to get an assembly, assembly code. So the compiler now depends on the machine that you are using because you're getting an assembly that is going to run on a specific machine. Well, but that machine only understands zeros and ones because it's made out of switches, right? Because the a switch can transistor or a relay or a, or a vacuum tube, it's still a switch. So you need to save that program as a zero or one. Now, how do you save it as a zero and one? You translate that assembly into zeros and ones using the uh, program called assembler and then you can save it in the program memory or whatever now that whole de design it's really built using gates and the gates are built using the flip-flops well i'm sorry uh, it's built using the uh, transistors the memory element is used uh, using flip-flops and the flip-flops are made of gates and the gates are made of switches. So the whole thing goes back to the switch. All right. Now, uh, this is an example of how a, um, a code uh, might be divided. Part of it might be the um, uh, opcode. Um, I, uh, I uh, processor this is. Part is, uh, is the opcode. Part of it describes the uh, operands, what NMNG operand. Uh, Women and photo, destination, source, destination, etc., and other information. All right. So, uh, kill kill microprocessor has its own set of code. Now, higher level languages, some fast history. Okay. So there was uh, assembly language, which is a description of well, assembly language. There is one to one mapping between a code and what you write here. The only difference, mungkin bil betsu we hasab shubna a register, but the one to one, yani kill, kill one uh, assembly instruction translates into one, one code. All right? By now, higher level languages is not. So there are so many steps uh, in one instruction, probably written in higher level language, to be uh, translated in so many machine codes. All right? So basically, there was a, a assembly language for each, each one of those created uh, uh, CPUs. Um, the small ones, well, let me hide this. No, I don't know how to hide it. Anyways, so basically, uh, there is an assembly language which describes the code in a way that a human uh, can remember them rather than remembering uh, zeros and ones. All right, um, then there was like some some language called autocode, IPL, Flowmatic, that led to COBOL, which is a language used by business, and uh, still being used in some of the applications in, uh, in uh, banks and airlines. Then you have a Fortran. With the Fortran, we had the first compiler. So we had interpreters for the other one. Interpreters in Tarjim Degli on the fly. So we had a Fortran compiler, then Lugha Isma Lisp, which is uh, uh, used for, uh, yani mainly for artificial intelligence. It's called list processing language. Then Algol, which is the precursor of many uh, important languages like uh, Pascal, well, Modula is the, uh, North. Uh, 
appears here, doesn't appear. Then you have so many things, then you have a COBOL. COBOL is one of the things that got a lot of uh, attention and still. Then things uh, evaluated, similar is used for simulation. Uh, then basic was for, um, for uh, uh, يعني, uh, people who would like to, uh, يعني, and on hobby, hobbyist. Okay, so it's very simple uh, programming language. It has nothing to do with the visual basic. It's just called basic. Um, the computer that I showed you, it, it, it uses that language. Uh, PL1 also um, yani stayed around for a uh, bit. Uh, logo was important uh, for training uh, uh, kids on programming. Usually, it's a turtle that you give it some instructions and can draw on the on the uh, on the screen. Pascal was very important. Pascal uh, didn't live by itself. It's still supported by, I'm not sure if it's still there, uh, one of the um, compilers. Uh, company. Then, I don't know C. C is by far the one that lived uh, the longest. It's still living for now and still highly used. Uh, so it was created in the 70s. Then came uh, Prolog, it's a, a pro programming language for uh, logic. SQL for database. C++, it's the object-oriented implementation of C. Uh, ADA was uh, introduced in, the, in that era, in the 80s. Uh, common Lisp, Lano Sulfic has a version of Common, etc. MATLAB was introduced in the 84. DBase 3, this is the language that we are used in the in the uh, university. Uh, I think I took the course in the 91, probably, the uh, database course. So we used DBase, uh, DBase 4, I think, or DBase 3. Uh, EFL is a programming, uh, object-oriented programming language that didn't live. Objective-C, uh, uh, the development uh, of uh, Apple, uh, the, the mobile. LabVIEW, the graphical programming was introduced in 1986. Um, Perl was huge. Uh, it was a scripting language that kicked in uh, in the early 90s, even though it was uh, introduced in the 80s. It was used heavily in the um, in the web. Uh, Tickle was used on Unix. Uh, Wolfram uh, Mathematica, Middle MATLAB, so it's a, it's a language. Uh, FL never never used it. I'm not sure. Where Python was introduced in 1990s, and it's it's by far one of the most important languages now. Visual Basic is um, used for Microsoft applications mainly. Lua is a language uh, that gained some some spotlight, and now it's it's not that uh, that used. Python, C, C++, and <clears throat> Java. Uh, Java here that was uh, introduced in the 95 are the ones that uh, has a lot of uh, attention. JavaScript and HTML, well, it's not a language. It's a markup uh, language. It's not a programming language, so this is why it's not listed. But in the 90s, we have the web, uh, the web-based languages. JavaScript, well, there was a VB script also that didn't live because it was not standardized. Uh, so JavaScript. PHP, the early 90s. Uh, C Sharp was uh, Microsoft answer to Java, so their own object-oriented language. Uh, it's still proprietary, but uh, Scratch is a, pro a programming language community for kids. It's a graphical uh, user, inter uh, graphical uh, programming language, and I don't know if you have seen Scratch before. Have you? No, I haven't. 
I don't. I think the students that they are using Tinkercad in the. I think they use. Yeah. They, uh, well, they this, use is, this is how, how it looks like. I have strides, مثلاً loop. Yeah. And on the logic end. Like Buffy. Like Buffy. So Scratch um, and it evolved. Now, I have many stuff that I'm skipping that are used for uh, specialized things. Um, PowerShell, for example, is a scripting language for uh, uh, the Windows operating system. Um, well, every now and then you'll see somebody who build the language and people likes it and works with it. Probably it lives, probably not. By far, C is, is the one that uh, still kicking after um, 50, 50 years, almost 50 years. Um, example, بس مثلاً نحن لما فتنا على الجامعة علمونا الباسكال in the introductory languages, يعني بال, بال uh, programming one, programming two أخذنا الباسكال. Then we took a course in uh, math is more numerical numerical uh, analysis. They told us go and learn Fortran on your own, and you have <clears throat> you have uh, projects in it. So we started learning on our own. So things that we learn on our own. بعد ما تعلمنا Pascal بال بالجامعة يعني بال بال course setting, we learned on our own uh, Fortran, Cobol, C. Uh, all خلال خلال الجامعة. and well basic then when we graduated C++ was and Java started uh, you know, uh, I'm, I'm sorry we will learn uh, MATLAB on our own uh, and, and Lisp sorry so basically we learn those on our own uh, then uh, things like uh, Java and C++ was getting a lot of attention, so we learned object-oriented on our own. Then the web came in, and we started learning on our own. So my first uh, web uh, web application I built it using uh, VB script can pass server command until uh, Microsoft, and then we moved to PHP. And then I think I wrote a couple in JSP, which is Java-based um, server-side scripting. Uh, every now and then, you you need to improve yourself. So what you learn at, at, at university is not enough for you to equip yourself. You have to always behave. Uh, this programming. All right, well, nowadays, a lot of things that you can do um, with, uh, with the introduction to of these boards, uh, Arduino and other than Arduino, uh, where you have a microcontroller, it has a like a full computer, miniature computer that you can, you can play with. Um, well, among all the Arduinos, uh, I like the lily pad. The lily pad is designed for wearables. يعني معمولة بشكل إنه فيك تخيط مش عارف إذا جبت فيديو عنا I think I got a video عنا you can title your project يعني you can sue your project so the device جاي بشكل إنه بتخيط بيجي خيطان conductive the LEDs can be sued on on a piece of cloth I don't know who's going to wear a necklace that uh, looks like that, but so no. Pillow? Piano on a shirt? Uh, I've seen a T-shirt that gives you the Wi-Fi. Well, doesn't use lily pad, but then give you a Wi-Fi signal. Um, what else? 
And that's an important thing. Well, wearable gloves. Yeah, some funny stuff. Okay. This gives you an indication of the pollution in the room. Wow. With fashion. All right. Well, this is this is these are the boards uh, as we know. The, the يعني, components are uh, Mazam Arduino versions uses an 8 bit microcontroller, except for the Duo and Yan and a couple of others. So, depending on your application, there are many sizes, shapes, forms of Arduinos in the, the market. Um, in the smallest, um, uh, Pro Mini, the Nano, then grow up to the Uno, the Mega, etc. Right? Uh, also, you have the, uh, this is a huge computer now, we have Raspberry Pi 4. Raspberry Pi has a full computer, so it has uh, Ethernet, LHDD, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, built-in. You, you put Linux on it, a full operating system where you can log in. Um, you have the user interface. Uh, it's a full computer, full computer. And you have access to input and output where you can interface a lot. So these are the history of Raspberry Pi as it uh, progressed. Uh, zero is the nicest. This is very small. Uh, used to be cheap. Asher dollarat, mal, or some stash of dollar via wireless and Bluetooth. Um, which I like the most is the this this guy. I think I have one handy. I don't know if you can see it on on the screen. Can you see it? On my video camera. I'm down the focus. I will have come. Okay, so it's that that small, that that small board, which is here in the. Uh, it's like one and a half centimeter, two and a half centimeters. Well, this is the main chip. This is the processor. This is the flash that contains the program. Okay? Uh, doctor, your screen is not shared now. It is shared. And uh, you can make it in the camera. So unpin me. All right. So this one is the processor. This one is the flash memory that contains the program. So you can have flash memory that has 512 megabytes. Well, that processor contains all of those. It has a built-in Wi-Fi. It has an 80 megahertz processor, 32 bit. It has uh, IOs. Well, in this case, the board nafsa ma mish mtala kill IO, but fi balbo 16 IO. Han the board mtala arbaat nain bistamlo the transmit and receive to program it mainly, or you can use it later on after programming it, and two pins. As that small guy. Uh, a repeater the Wi-Fi. You can use it as a device that you can control or sense via Wi-Fi for IoT, what's called Internet of Things. Very small, dollar um, or And you can program it using Arduino. So it's, it's fairly uh, powerful, powerful. Uh, Subminu versions like that uh, nowadays. Uh, so it's it's mainly a processor and, and, and RAM, like the crystal white capacitors and resistors and LEDs. Uh, this is the antenna of the Wi-Fi. It's built on the uh, on the board. Um, it's it's very important uh, to work with IoT nowadays, and it's, it's the trend. Well, IoT, Internet of Things, uh, have everything connected. I mean, to catch up with the world, and I'll be able to get back to you and get an item on a shopping list. Well, probably who needs that? But whoever can pay for that will pay for advancing the technology. Usually, this is what happens, right? When the buzzbuzzing is being paid for, and the world is changing, like what I said, God has made a mistake on the people. 
So basically, uh, these things people sell. But in IoT, it's it's being used for so many things. Monitoring, uh, let's say, agric in agriculture, if you put small devices, you can monitor each tree, each plant. Uh, you can monitor each uh, element of your herd, uh, cattle, مثلا, bar, ganam, etc. So there are so many things that uh, can be used um, for more productive things but uh, اكيد في بروجيكتس بدها تعمل مثل مثل التليفونات اللي عم ندفع حقها بلاوي وعم نستخدم جزء بسيط منها where the calculator that you are using هذه المسموحه بس بالامتحانات شو اف اكس 82 يمكن uh, it has more processing power probably than the computer that took Apollo to the moon ونحن بندفع حق بعضكم التليفون 48 ميجا بكسل اوكتا كور مش عارف قديش عليه رام تو تيك ا كابل اوف فيس دوك سيلفيز ذس از لايف اني ويز سو بيزيكلي هير وي ار ات ذا ايدج اوف تكنولوجي وي ستارتد فروم ا سويتش ويل بيفور ذات وذ ذا ميكانيكال جيرز But before all of that, with the open mind, and we ended here. Any questions? Thank you, Doctor. I mean, questions, guys. Ma ba bza tawalt alaykum. La la la. It was amazing, saraha. No. Ish esma hu mish question. It's basically a small, you know, comparison. انه هاو انشنت سيفيلايزيشنز قديش كانوا متطورين اكثر من السيفيلايزيشن تاعيتنا يعني اذا بدك ترجع لورا اوكي صح انه كان في باور وقتها وانه كنترول اوفر ذا بيبل بس ستيل انه الانفنشنز اللي كانوا يعملوها من زمان مثل اللانجويج مثل الرودز مثل انه ذا ميثودز اوف كيف بدي اقول لك ترافلينج باي سي كل هالاشياء والماشينز كمان استرونوميكال ماشينز مثل ما هلا فرجيتنا بالبرزنتيشن حضرتك سو بتفرج انه قديش الانشن سيفيلايزيشنز كانوا ترولي انه كيف بدي اقول لك منتلي ادفانسد من السيفيلايزيشن تاعتنا يعني ف بس لك هي هي القصه انه نحن وير لوكين ات ذا ارتيفاكتس سم اوف ذا ارتيفاكتس يعني بعض بعض الاشياء اللي وصلت لنا اللي ما وصل يمكن ساعات اللهو اللي اللي قضوها معظم الناس بهذيك الحقبه البطر عارف كيف بس يمكن شفناهم بقصورهم مثلا بس لاك في تكنولوجيكال ادفانسمنت اول ذا تايم ولا ما وصلنا لها بس المفروض الواحد يكون يعني عنده نوع من الـ من الـ يعني الماتشوريتي انه ما يبذر باستخدام التكنولوجيا يعني مثل ما قلت من شوي معظم الناس بتجيب تليفونات لتاخذ سيلفيز هذا التليفون بينعمل فيه مليون شغله يعني rather than spending so many dollars هلا هلا ما عادش فينا يعني بس انه اذا رجعنا uh, on on doing this you can buy a couple of you know stuff uh, that you can build uh, devices that can help uh, solve problems so يعني وفر من هون لتعمل شيء ثاني اوكي هلا بحاجه للكوميونيكيشن بالاونلاين عندك بزنس عندك تلميذ اتسترا بحاجه يمكن لباور في الكمبيوتر يس بس انه ات ذا اند اوف ذا تايم مثلا جيمنج كمبيوتر بروبلي از نوت نيدد بس في ناس ويل انفست ان جيمنج كمبيوتر سو بوقتها كمان نفس الشيء ما كان في ناس تعمر قصور بلا طعم يفرها وفي ناس كانت تعمل All devices, the navigation, the time telling. So it depends. I have a question, Doctor. Hello. We saw in the list of programming languages in the world after 2011 and 2012, we started new new programming languages. What's the idea of it? يعني سنس everyone عم بس كل كل عم يستعمل مثلاً جافا أو سي بلس بلس لل مثلاً App development. Hey, I'm using Python for artificial intelligence. Or like, why? 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 Why
لك it depends on on the usage يعني مثلا يمكن اللي عمل ال PHP ما كانش راضي عن Perl فاخترعها وصار يستعمل العالم حبتها ومشيت فيها أمرار for personal use they create them and uh, people will like them خاصة بعصر الـ Open Source يمكن يعملون كبوهم العالم like them ويطوروهم ويلاقوا انه فيهم والله productivity اكثر بشغلهم etc هلا في بعض الـ languages that are targeted مثلا probably هلا machine learning deep learning they, they help better لا uh, Python is being used but probably there are other for artificial intelligence uh, user um, عم يطوروا لغات كانت قديمه يمكن طوروها لقدام سو ديبندز اون ذا يوز سي مثلا باين لانه اتس ذا لانجويج ذات از ذا كلوزست تو ذا هاردوير سو اف يو دوينج اني ثينج ريليتد تو ذا هاردوير يو اولويز اولويز جوينج تو جو تو سي رايت فعشان هيك باين هلا جافا از از ا فيري ويل اركيتكتد لانجويج ذات really fits into enterprise modular uh, scalable uh, projects بعضهم ضايني الى الى منافسين مايكروسوفت مشكله مايكروسوفت انه it, it introduced things that are proprietary ما عملتهم open open languages they 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 live the long proprietary عاده ما بيضايني uh, عمر الحجاج تفضل Okay, هلا عندي سؤالين، أول سؤال uh, Did we reach the peak like 64 cores CPUs and on one die chip? Uh, high frequencies for uh, CPUs, high power efficiencies. And do you think that uh, eight, uh, X86 uh, uh, CPUs will die soon, like in the war with ARM CPUs? Well, like, في في ال في الجواب العلمي وفي الجواب الماركت يعني always you have to look at both. ب في مورز مورز theory about you know doubling the the number of transistors every two years. كان حاطين لمت على the frequency. وصلنا لمحلات عالية جدا. Well. Uh, probably, probably, in a, in a, hala, but when nanotechnology we're opening a new dimension. Hey, uh, one. Then, if you have material science, also will open on another dimension. Well, there's another, a totally different dimension. There will quantum computers, will a totally different way of designing computers that are built on quantum theory. So basically, you have another dimension uh, for computation. اللي هو اسرع more efficient uh, you can do more uh, etc. Um, x86 uh, dying uh, it, it depends it depends on, on the market share يعني the more and more mobile devices are becoming the, the norm the more and more since they are mobile the battery is the, the issue so low power is the is the is the key Uh, اكيد البروسيسور باور هانجري بروسيسورز ويل 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 تند تو شاي اواي بس هل بيختفوا لا ما عندك بعض سيرفرز عندك uh, بعدنا عم نحكي جيمنج كمبيوترز بس عندك كمان ورك ستيشنز في ناس بتشتغل اوتوكاد سم سيميليشن اتسترا دي نيد باورفول كمبيوترز هلا تسوق uh, من فتره انه well, Software should be a service. Computation should be a service. You can do your computation in the cloud. Yes, part of communication, we have a problem. And uh, online uh, turned out, uh, well, uh, brought out the good and the bad of, the, of, of communication technology. So we find, if a lot of people move into, uh, into the cloud, uh, you need faster, more reliable uh, infrastructures. طبعا في كمان تطور بهذا الاتجاه. So it depends, it depends في يعني مش بس خاصه بالتكنولوجي تاعتها خاصه بعدة بعدة شغلات. I don't know if I answered you. في شغله كمان دكتور بروفيسور امين 
في عندك الكوانتم كمبيوترز يعني اللي عملوا لهم انه دي اتشيفد هالسوبريمسي انه مثلا جوجل واي بي ام وانه نحن بنعرف انه مثلا مودرن كمبيوترز دي تاكل وذ زيروز اند وانز بس الكوانتم كمبيوترز تاكلز وذ اول بوسيبيليتيز يعني هيدي لحالها يعني اتس كمان باور باور افشنت يعني كمان اذا انت يو كان بوت اول بوسيبيليتيز ان فرونت اوف يو بدل ما مثلا يا تاخذ ايذر زيرو او وان You'll get all the possibilities possible, especially in the no quantum particles, they, they can travel forward and backwards in time. But this is something that is technologically advanced. This is something that opened another dimension for yes, computing. I, I mentioned quantum computing, so it, it, is, it is a totally different dimension than the silicon. It's also the basic design of, of uh, the computational. يعني بدل السويتش يعني السويتش اللي بده يختفي مش 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 التكنولوجي اللي عم نعمل فيها السويتش اكزاكتلي اذا سماها سويتش هذه وفي شغله كمان انه يعني وي صوت يعني بالهيستوري انه مثلا النورمال تنقول يو اس بيز قديش كانوا جايجانتيك وبلشوا يصغروا باي تايم نفس الشيء مثلا على الكوانتم كمبيوتر كثير 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 كبير الكوانتم كمبيوتر يعني اتس فيري اكسبنسيف يعني باي تايم ات مايت يعني ديكريز اند بيكم ذا سايز اوف سبيك اوف داست يعني بعدين او سمولر كمان فهيدي السي وي كان سي ثرو اوت ذا هيستوري كمان يعني حتى ذا واي يو بروجرامينج ذيم ذي ار اولسو كمان هلا ذي ريستريكتيف بعدين بيصيروا مثل مثل ما تطورت البروجرامينج لانجويجز بعالم الكمبيوتر العادي كمان سو ات از ات از انذر دايمنشن We, have, we hope it, it will open uh, يعني application that for the advancement of humanity مش تروح تستعمل بس بالحروب وال 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 entertainment but but don't we have like enough computational power for like what we can do like in this era or in this period no 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 يعني يعني مثلا خذ مثال اللقاح اللي عم يعملوه قديش اخذ وقت سيميليشن ل يعني قطعوا مراحل لانه عم يستعملوا سيميليشن ما استعملوش ان فيفو بسموها ان فيترو ان فيفو يعني بالمختبر او على على البشر عملوا ان سيليكو ذي كول ات يعني عملوا سيميليشن على الكمبيوترز قبل ما بيعملوا ابحاث يبلشوا من الصفر بالريسيرش على الخلايا واتسيرا فهول بدهم كمبيوتيشنال باور عالي جدا عالي جدا ففيك تختصر اوقات كثيره خاصه بمجال مثل مثل الطعومه يعني مثلا تصور انت قادر تختصر بدنا نقول سنه تطوير بشهر It would have made a lot of uh, uh, difference in saving lives and saving uh, money. In the world, all of them are affected. But the world is not able to survive. Like we to to discover the human genome, it took like 20 years from uh, uh, I think 1990 or something till 2005. Now we can. We can sequence it in one day. Right now, we can sequence it in one day, like. Yeah. And the first, how fast was developed the vaccine? Like, people did not accept the idea. It was rushed up and. It was rushed, probably. I'm not an expert, but no. بالاخر في عندك مشكله كبيره عاده بمجال بمجال الطب ذكرني مره مره عملت عمليه صغيره بكيس دهن بامريكا مضوني على ورقه حبيت اقراها مع انه ورقه طويله عاده ما بيقرا الواحد بيمضي دغري بكونسنت قبل ما تعمل اي عمليه فنازت بتقول ذا براكتس اوف ميديسن از نوت ان اكزاكت ساينس غريب الجمله هلا عم يحفظوا حقهم القانوني بس اجمالا اجمالا بالاخر اتس اتس اكسبيرمنتال بيست اون سم ستاتستيكال ديتا ذا مور يو هاف ستاتستكس ذا مور يو هاف كونفيدنس بس يو دونت هاف ذا اكزاكت تروث صح؟ 
مزبوط اكيد بس بنفس الوقت عادة عادة بال بالاسسمنت اللي بيعملوه حتى الانجينيرز زي دو ريسك اسسمنت بيشوفوا قديش الريسك اللي بده يجي من الفاكسين وقديش الريسك فروم نوت فاكسينيتنج قديش بنخسر ناس هون وقديش بنخسر ناس هون اند ذن وان اوف ذا ديسيجنز من بعد ما يمشوا من كل المراحل بياخذوا هيك هيك قرار هون صرنا مينيمايزنج ذا لوس راذر ذان ماكسيمايزنج ذا جيم I think you're taking some economics courses now. So, يعني في عدة عوامل العالم ما حتقبل إيه بس مع الوقت إذا مثلاً هيدا أثبت والله إنه يعني أنقذنا ملايين البشر. Next time إذا صفينا نستعمل التكنولوجيا العالم بتقول develop confidence in it. يعني ما بتصور العالم بتصور إنه العالم بيأخذ طعوم يلا نحن بلبنان يمكن قليل ما تلاقي واحد ما بيطعم اولاده. الطعم العادي اللي هن صار لهم 30 و40 سنه مستعملين، بامريكا في ناس لهلا ما بتطعم. سو هذه خاصه ببيرسونال بيرسونال تشويس بيرسونال يو نو بيليفز العالم موضوع ثاني والعلم موضوع ثاني. اوكي سو وي تيك ون لاست كويك كويستشن من علي حمود. أم بدي بدي اسالك بدي اسالك سؤالين مثل ما قال زميلي هادي عن الكوانتم كمبيوترز انه بتستعملي كيوبيتس 0 اور 1 اور 0 اور 1 مع بعض بدي اسالك على الهاردوير ليفل شو الميجر ديفرنس بيناتهم غير انه سويتشز غير بعض انا ام نوت ام نوت فاميليار وذ ات بس اي نو اتس ا بروميسينج فيلد هافن ريد ماتش اباوت ات Probably as much as you've read, but you know, it's a it's a place that that people should should يعني start يعني uh, learning there. بصراحة ما ما أدري شو بقى. I don't have. سألك كمان personal opinion إنه برأيك أنت هنقدر نستعمل هيدا الكمبيوتر ك personal use إنه next twenty years, thirty years. ملاك ما بعرف ملاك يعني إذا بتشوف الكمبيوترات كيف تطورت لو صلنا للبي سي ال personal computer in the early eighties. كان في هول شوي الهوبي اللي كنا نستعملهم نحن نشتريهم ايام المدرسه طلعوا بالسبعينات انا اشتريت ماين 85 80 88 بروبلي بس اني بلشوا بالليت 70s للارلي 80s كان في هول سمول هوبيز كمبيوترز بعدين الاي بي ام حطت حطت ال يعني وكانه نقطه بالتاريخ اللي هو البيرسونال كمبيوتر بال 81 قبل من الاربعينات في كمبيوترات على قد بنايه بيصرف بيصرف مش عارف قديش كهرباء ليطلع تيبل مدفعيه يعني بولينوميال كالكوليشن رايت ات داز وان وان ثينج مضبوط عندك شي 40 سنه فرق بس ما تنسى قديش تطورت التكنولوجيا من هونيك آه لهون التطور مش لينير التطور عم يصير اكسبوننشال يعني اكسبوننشال الفتره اللي بتقطع بين آه امتى بتبلش الفكره لحتى تت يعني تو تو سبريد آه عم تقريبا تطلع اكسبوننشال سو موست بروبلي الوقت ال اديا من 40 سنه يعني ممكن ممكن يكون عشرات او اقل يعني 10 15 5 بدون 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 معرفه انا بس عم بعمل سبيكيليشن لانه تطور التكنولوجيا صار اسرع بكثير شكرا اهلا وسهلا اوكي ثانك يو سو ماتش دكتور امين ثانك يو سو ماتش للحضور دونت فورجيت تو فولو اس اون سوشيال ميديا اي تريبل اي ال اي ستودنت برانش وير افيلبل اون فيسبوك انستغرام يوتيوب اند لينكدين Oh, this session will be uh, available on YouTube. So I'll put that on my number and the number of Omar Banad, Vice Chair. If you want anything, you can contact us. Thank you so much, Dr. Amin. Have a nice day. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Thank you Doctor. Thank you, Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Hadi. Thank you very much. Allah Bye-bye.